Hey guys, it's Rabbit Roo here, and I'm back with yet another StarCraft Brood War Remastered cast. And today I've got a Flash game for you. We are on match point. Flash is playing against Effort, somebody who he has practiced and had many tournament matches against. So, two very well matched players. Match point, always a great map for mech and some creativity within the TVZ matchup. So something I decided would be a good choice for today. I'm doing some on the bounce casting. So this is the fourth game that I've cast this morning. It's a Saturday. It's a relatively beautiful day here where I live in Melbourne, Australia. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys some flash action. Flexion. Flash action? I don't know. We'll think of something cooler than that. Anyway, so analytics are telling me, and yes, I have close to 100 videos now. So analytics do give you some useful information that a lot of people like about 80% who watch are not yet subscribed please do hit the button if it's if you use YouTube in dark mode like me it is the white button and if you use it in regular then it's the black button please do join subscribable it will make me a very happy panda and if you watch on a regular basis do hit that like button it does help me get discovered it does help me get beautiful comments like hey man I discovered your channel today and I really love your casts thanks for doing them and I'm like oh that's so sweet thank you and I will so there we go okay so flash is in yellow if it is in green I cannot change the colors because of the observer and I wanted to bring you a flash only view but that doesn't work when there's a freaking observer so I need to try and find a game a retro flash game where there isn't an observer which is very very difficult because a lot of these games are pro tournament where somebody was observing for obvious reasons there was obviously a lot of attention on this man when he was at the peak of his powers because he was the very very best okay so obviously we are now getting into the game and the build so we've got a hatch first into pull from our um effort and mr flash looks like he's setting up to do a rax expand although he has immediately taken a second depot so perhaps we will see a slight delay in that although he's saving up the money so the depot is coming so it's going to be a one marine one rex expand he likes this little choke area to block any ling pressure um so that's probably going to be how he holds anything he's got an scv in effort space so he knows he's actually not in any immediate danger anyway so using this as an opportunity to get his macro going and it does also because there's no gas look like he may play a bio style on match point instead of a tank uh, mech style which i've cast a game of his versus jadong where he went mech and my god did he have a lot of tanks and wow was that damn scary so if you effort i suppose you're a little bit grateful that you only really have to worry about flash playing a more conventional bio style he is still flash though so you know the pressure is on so two and a half hatch build seems to be what our friend effort is going for likely he's going to get some muters into the equation um flash is now going up to he is getting his gas um but that could just be as a means to go for his two or three racks academy before he gets his starport and other units going he's going to need turrets so he's going to need some anti-air for sure against zerg who nine times out of ten get their lair going get their spy going harass and mutilus there's a lot of lovely angles to harass the mutas from on this map and there's a lot of places to come in from here's the ebay from flash he knows what to expect he's an absolute veteran of this game so just pumping out from one barracks relentlessly for now and he'll be gearing up for the inevitable pressure that he should be facing i guess the academy will come down quite soon um and we will go from there so we'll keep an eye on the build orders and as they pop into the equation so another rax is going down He's already doing plus one, so he's rushed plus one ahead of stim, ahead of range, which is interesting. It's a little bit of a variation, I think, on what you would see as standard. So a very, very upgrade-centric start from our Terran in this match. So we've got our two and a half hatches. Our lair is not yet popped, but when it pops, we'll see how quickly before the spire is up. If it does have the money for it, so we should see the spire zoop, immediately. So there it comes. Uh, Flash is starting his academy on this side. Here it is here and so we are progressing nicely into three racks academy 
versus a two and a half hatch muta open so pretty conventional stuff here but done by these guys it's always just a little bit special flash is is he is he gonna get oh my god how does he get his scv in that narrow choke with all these links well he doesn't see much to be honest and what is there to see you know effort did zerg stuff no big deal very very normal okay so marines are in play where are your turrets you've had an ebay forever flash where are you going to place your turrets and more importantly when are you going to place your turrets so getting his scanners up first i don't see any turrets going down yet i don't see any turrets in the production tab i see a fourth rax here he's going four rax academy before he's built a single turret he's getting stim his plus one is almost done this is very very interesting it's a bit different he's wanting to push out here And he is, he's going to push out, he's going to look to push out into the middle of the map. There's obviously a timing and he knows the timings really well. The Spire is about to pop. He's trying to get his units basically halfway across the map or potentially to harass the third of effort before the muters come out. And he needs enough. He needs a critical mass to take on seven muters. That's not going to be so easy. Unfortunately, he's left the front door open here. So effort gets a couple of links into harass. But these fire bats are really, really good against this. I don't think Flash will have too much of a problem with a couple of reinforcing infantry units coming out of the barracks. He is going to lose another couple of Marines though, which is annoying, but he's going to sort that out. Meanwhile, Flash has stemmed up and gone all the way across the map. He knocks down the sunken. It's not going to be a problem. There's not enough of them, but the Muters do pop now. The Muters with a little bit of micro should be able to tie this up, but there's nothing but Muters here to support. All the Lings are on the other side of the map, but all the Rings were basically killed in the harassment attempt or the counter harassment attempt a couple of millings do come down and that's a beautiful distraction for the muters to pick them off so a lot of flashes units have all died here and i don't know if this move out was very very profitable he's got no turrets here they come now he knows that the muters are coming he needs to build turrets quick 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 there's nothing here protecting him he's basically building three turrets We'll see where they pop up. It looks like he's focusing on the mineral line for now. Moving more units out, I think just to buy himself time. But this Ling Muter approach from effort is proving to be very, very effective. Picking off the Marines as they're walking. Really good micro with the Ling's coupling as well. Oh my god, effort is giving Flash serious grief here in the early game. Okay, so the turrets are up. They're obviously in masterful positions. The links can be tidied up too. He does lose a meter. Knocks down a couple of turrets. That's been repaired. It isn't going to matter much. Effort is just unrelenting here. Meanwhile, a couple of fire bats have been sent across to harass the space. There's a hatch here and a drone. It's not saturated yet. He does stem up. The fire bats hit the drone. The drone runs for his life. He's like, no, you can't touch me. So the meters will probably fly across and have to take care of that. So that does buy Flash some time. You know, that looks like such an insignificant thing to do. To get two fire bats all the way across the map. But it forces him to move his muters away. Which buys him time to build a bunker. Buys him time to calm down. Buys him time to get some more units out of his now four racks. Plus factory coming up. So he's going to progress now into vessels and upgrades, etc, etc. Um, so those little moves make such an enormous impact so another hatch for effort i think he needs to drone up and resaturate he's only got 37 drones across four bases he could probably do with a little bit more another turrets coming in play here so the the muters do come back but suddenly now confronted with more turrets a little bit more of a difficult equation for them so yes effort really will enjoy and must take maximum advantage of his map control while he has it but it isn't to say that he's going to have it forever all right, so he's flying in here and he's like, oh, you don't have any turrets in your main. So you're going to have to beat me with a handful of uh, Marines. Let's see how you go. So he gets another SCV and another SCV and another SCV. I think he had about 45 at that. So he picked up four SCVs for free. One lonely turret's not going to do anything. He could take the turret down. And so he does. There's only about five Marines here. I think if it could come harass even more if he wants to. The multitasking though of these guys. Flash again as a distraction is starting to move out some units. But there are a lot of speedlings that are going to intercept these Marines. If the Mutas can come in from this side and the, the links from this side, it's going to be a great flank. And these Marines are going to die. Again, excellent micro and excellent sense of anticipation from effort. What a game this has been so far. Just absolute non-stop action from both sides. More links coming. More meter harassment. There's nothing here. Nothing to protect these SCVs. Flash is in an absolute world of pain. He sent up two Marines. That's not going to help. A second eBay so he can get double upgrades going. So that construction's also been halted because of the dead SCV. Now the Marines are moving across the map to put some counter pressure. It's Lings. 
It's a handful of muters. Six lurkers are busy hatching at the moment. He can put those in position where he needs to. Probably here on the high ground. And that's really going to give Flash some grief. Another sandwich here. But muters flanked by Lings. But this time, Flash has got enough to tidy this up. So he's going to be able to forge ahead. But what he maybe isn't fully aware of is that there are lurkers that are sitting right here. So where does he go with his units? I think his game sense has got to tell him his lurkers. Well, now it's no surprise because they've just walked up to him. He's going to try and take all these out. He's going to flank them. He needs to run, run, run. He does get away. Well done. Okay, so he's actually walking around the lurkers. Flash, you cheeky, cheeky man. Runs right around here. Up you get and off you go with your lurkers. More lurker eggs flash, um, hatching here. though. Effort is enjoying... The benefit of having four gases because you can make lurkers, muters, lings, and have plenty of money to spare. There's a lot of blood over here. Oh, and he's flanked them. There's no way for these marines to go now. He has to run back. Oh, man, the micro of this man to dodge these lurker spines every time to make it all the way up to the only place where there are no lurkers, which is the front door of this base. Flash, you wicked, wicked man. Okay, so here do come the lurkers to reinforce. They're on the ramp. It's dead though. He, again, he moves away so fast. Out of range, in range. Out of range, in range. Out of range, in range. Don't think he's going to be able to do it this time. But now there's only two lurkers left. Now they're boxed into a corner. That's the end of these guys. They had their time. They bought so much time though for Flash that he got tremendous value from what is basically a handful of units. At this stage of the game though, 83 plays 81. If it is really in a commanding position, he could start to bring some lurkers forward here. He could start to put some pressure on. I could start to breathe. I mean, it could really happen. But at this stage, it's proving uh, it's proving challenging. All right, so the lurkers are coming in potentially from both sides. I've always liked Larry as a name for the lurkers. So let's see how many Larry the lurkers come through here. Some tanks. I don't know. I didn't see if we, he started um, siege mode. No, he just answers my question. He sieges up. Irradiate's not yet done. It's still being researched. So these guys are charging up some energy or some mana, which is the other way it's known. And a bit of a soft contain here from effort. There are no bases on match point. There's literally this one and this one left. And I think that's it. And there's one down here. So there, it's, it's, a, it's a map of relatively few bases. It's a two-player map. It kind of lends itself to shorter games um, because of that. So he's moving around here, knocking off a ling and another ling and another ling. Here come the vessels. Uh oh, oh Flash is very conscious of that though. So the lurkers move forward. The lings are after the science vessels. Here come the lurkers. There's a dead tank. They need to move further forward though. He's got to get his lurkers in position, but moves away. Flash is. Oh man. Tanks. Tanks, 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 marine. Tank, marine. And irradiate. Tank, marine, irradiate. Is Flash really going to battle through from where he was in this game and somehow win this? It will be. Ooh, it'll be nuts if he can. He is still, for all intents and purposes, just a two-basing Terran. Uh, and I think his big objective now is to establish this base. Because that's going to give him some oxygen and some opportunity to take this game down. If it perhaps missing a trick, uh, not throwing down a few more hatcheries here and here, I think that's really what he needs to do sooner rather than later. Just to entrench and force Flash out onto the map. Right now, if Flash sticks around at home and turtles up on three bases... Uh, he could still potentially get himself into this game. So 117 plus 122, dead even on workers, dead even on supply. It is insanely tight at this stage of the game and really, really exciting. Like I say, hit that like button if you're enjoying Rabbit Roo Cast. Subscribe if you want to see them regularly or if you do hang out with me regularly because we're going to bring you Variety Brood War like this to look forward to. And it is fun. Up come the Dark Swarm. There go the lurkers. There is so much blood here. It is not even funny. Flash has to retreat. He's still the winning in supply. Effort's floating a little bit of money. A couple of skirts connecting on the vessels, but no vessels have died. He is throwing down his command center here. So, oh, he's putting it on this side. That's pretty clever. A little bit more difficult to access for the Zerg. So it's Ling Lurker versus Tank Marine Medic. It's another hatch down here as if he was listening to me. And hopefully another hatch down here as well. And then if he can hold on, he will win. So Flash circling around here to potentially flank this position. Some lurkers under Dark Swarm. Very, very inconvenient, making Flash's life quite difficult. A lot of lurkers, a lot of lings here. Oh no, it's only Bio. It's only Bio under the Dark Swarm. Where are your tanks, Flash? Run! He lost one unit. One unit from that. There are so many lurkers and somehow he runs away. 
and doesn't lose anything. I don't think he's gonna get so lucky this time though. No, he's not. He loses a whole heap of marines. Oh my god, it's a bloodbath here. Lurkers, ow, ow, and ow some more. He's moving forward. He smells blood. He sees blood. If he keeps his composure, he keeps macroing, keeps spending his money, and keeps pushing forward. Yeah, he's going to take flash down. There's even more lurkers coming up here. It's only bio. How? How does nobody die there? How? Uphill, I guess. Damn. Okay, so the irradiates are there. He's got three vessels. He doesn't have enough vessels. Flash's problem is he doesn't have uh, more than two gas. He needs a third gas, and that is posing a real, real challenge for him. The container's up here. Another ling, or sending some lings here to block this, because he knows how critical this gas would be for Flash to keep building vessels and irradiates. And Effort has done exactly what I told him to. As if he's listening to me from the future, he's taking every single base on this map while enjoying all this map control. He can be composed can move his lurkers into position fighting infantry with lurkers a ling lurker absolutely beautiful in fact these guys are running away where are you running to what are you hoping is going to help you the high ground i don't think that's going to do much it's blood it's blood it's more blood it's a bloodbath here on match point more lur lings coming in here his vessel count is up to five which is a scary enough number but it still needs to be higher he's just got so many lurkers look at the green Look at the mini-map, the green swarming across and converging. He's going to take these marines from both angles and they're going to disappear in literally seconds. That was a counter-harassment tip from Flash. Shut down without any trouble at all. The difficult part potentially to break is this, but there's only this base to worry about. Going in the front door, there are enough marines here and a bunker, so perhaps not the easiest job, even with Dark Swarm. Sending in some more here as well, just to keep chipping away at the numbers. But I think these are a little bit inefficient for my liking. He's only going to get one Marine, and I think he sacked about six Lings in doing so. So Flash now has decided, I've had enough of this. I'm going to go kill bases, and that's what he needs to do. Where did all the damn Larrys go, man? We need some more Lurkers. Okay, so this hatch is toast. He's going to force him to move some units across. It's mainly Lings. There's only one Lurker left. The others have all been irradiated. Where is the unit progression from our zerg it's ultras okay so i think he wants to try and close this game out with ultras if it does have 750 gas they are very gas heavy units he's going to have to get gas going at this base he's knocked this um hatch down as flash so he's bought himself some time knowing that that's what he needs he's broken in the front door here though to knock off a few scvs and a dark swarm that's beautifully done by Effort. He's constantly putting pressure on and flash try and establish this base and of course Effort being right on top of that Forces him to lift off. He is keeping him contained to those two bases. In fact, he's on one base. He's mined out here. Flash is in a whole heap of trouble, guys. So more links coming in. Just trading out these units because they're basically free. Flash has to move in and save this base. He has to move back and establish this base, which gives effort even more freedom. He could reestablish this hatch if he wants to. He's getting a lot of cash in play. I reckon we're going to see some... Well, I can see some muters in the production tab. I reckon we're going to see some ultras pretty soon. I reckon Ultras will be the death blow for our friend Flash today. But of course, we'll wait and see. We never write somebody off as good as him. These Lings are all on hold position, and now they're on dead position. We play good the science vessels. Uh, we could hit one with a scourge. There we go. Bye-bye. So it's Lings. Here come some more Marines. They're going to kind of be joined together here in harmony but the mutas just two of them are going to they're all played they've got no hp so the mutas should be able to knock off basically all of the science vessels flash desperately needed those science vessels these are now cracklings which means they're going to trade even more beautifully with his infantry units effort is playing like an absolute boss today chasing flash's units back flash is going back 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 he's like all right but maybe some fire bats here against these links but guess what guys, we're back here harassing this base because there's very little to protect it. Basically some medics. Okay, so he does bring some infantry around. He is going to hold this off. He has got this back up and established again. Effort has to get on top of this pronto. And as I said, here they come. More lings. This is going down in flash. It's red, it's red, it's red, it's red, it's red, it's red, it's red. He's repairing it. Oh, it's so close, but is he going to save it? Yes, he does. But just, just, just. He had about 105 friggin' SCVs repairing it. Meanwhile, more links here. Unrelenting pressure from effort. More here as well. He can throw these links at him all day long. They're basically free. 
I'm just wondering where is the power unit? There it is. Seven ultralists in production. Eleven links. It's going to become Ling Ultra. Scourge to kill any vessels. If he can produce more, we can see that Flash is really struggling economically. So he's going to have a tough time. He's just getting this um, refinery up now. There's no gas here to be gotten. So it's going to be difficult for him to have any more than the three vessels he's got out on the map currently. So the Scourge are going to deal with these vessels when he can get them up and running. Here come the Ultras. More links coming down here. He stems up just in time. His sense of anticipation is really good. He does get a couple of links for that, but not much. He doesn't really need to trade that efficiently, I guess. Just trying to keep him pinned back. Here come the Ultras, though. I don't know why you're flying into a freaking science facility. Anyway. So here come the Ultras. There are no tanks to fight this. These Ultras are slow. They can still get their upgrades. I don't think it's going to matter much. They are very, very strong. Although the Fire Bats trade pretty well against the Ultras. And they have Medics helping them. The Vessels could already up. But I don't think they have the energy. That trade actually was pretty neutral. But Flash holds on tight. He's floating buildings here everywhere to confuse me on the damn minimap. Ultras have run straight in the front door of his main. I don't actually know if they were dropped in here or if they ran in here. I doubt they ran in here because there seems to be vessels supporting them. But in they are. I don't think he has too many answers to stop the Ultras. More Ultras here in this mining base. There are Ultras galore. Flash sends his units here. He's going to tidy up these Ultras. But does he have an answer for the Ultras that have gotten into the main? I don't think he does. Here are some more cracklings as well. Somehow his vessel count has swelled to about seven. It isn't going to matter. There is Zerg everywhere. He's converging here. He's converging here. He's converged here and he's managed to tidy up those ultras, but he has now got to move and pivot his army back round again to stop this. So it is drops. He's dropping it from here across. And that was unfortunately what I missed initially, but we can see exactly how he's done it. And it is very, very masterful play from effort. Forcing Flash to try and cover everything from all angles. Here come the vessels again moving across the map. More irradiates. He irradiates them as they come down from their rallies as opposed to when they're on the front door. I'm going to try and knock down the base himself. This is up and running again. This is up and running again. More Ling Lurkers this time. More drops this time. Flash has, just run, has been run from pillar to post from both sides. Now he's finally broken the resistance that was at the front door here. Yes, some reinforcing units have come back to the side. 125, there's 104. There's only 33 workers left. Bringing in some links here because there's nothing protecting this base. This base is virtually dead. It's just unrelenting play from effort. All angles, all the time. And he has not been able to stop... The lings here, these lings are not doing anything. So he's forcing him to lift off yet again. Less money for flash. Less opportunities to reinforce. More ultras coming across. Effort can just send more lings. Nine lings in production. More ultras in production. More dropped units. Just bringing them across. Ferrying them across unrelentingly. Once he starts hitting these barracks and flash's ability to reinforce basically disappears. More lings zooping across the map. More lings, more lings, more ultras just unrelenting pressure 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 flash is not going to be able to play his way out of this as good as he is if it's going to take him down and again uh, there was something that i was not expecting he absolutely smashed him i think from the second that flash overextended a little bit in the early game uh, if it had a window his macro was great he expanded he took bases when he needed to he found spots to trade effectively when he needed to. He pivoted into and out of lurkers when he needed to. What a fantastic game. I'm Rabbit Roo, bringing you variety brood well of all kinds. If you enjoyed that, please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, ciao for now.